pay the price should it not come off. What a great shot. Well, it is nice to have that one in your bag, be able to hit it that long. It has to be at least 315 yards. Well, he's going to have to hit the same club a lot harder or just hit another one. Not terrible, but not his best. Yeah, outside chance, really, for uh, for Birdie, but um, really, it was a, a rather poor approach shot. Pretty good stroke right there, just hit it through the break. Well, it's that sort of distance. If it goes in, it's a bonus. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Good putt. Frank, I think the mark of a good golf course design changing directions. We go from a right to left hole, now at the 12th to a left to right hole. Yeah, there's no two holes at Quail Hollow that look the same. Um, and this one's slightly downhill, uh, fairway tilts a little bit to the right, and, and it's a bit of a sleeper. And plus you add in on top of that 450 yards plus, um, this is a fairway that has to be hit. Long and straight. That's how you do it. Players bracing against these strong, gusty winds. Really a challenge out there. Frank, we always say about Quail Hollow, you have to play with a clear head. You have to be thinking your way around this golf course. So what's the right thought process on this second shot? Keep the ball in the right section. Um, you know, that front portion there, you can't afford to go long when the flag's there. Conversely, when the flag's in the back, you can't afford to be putting up and over that ridge. So you've got to be um, flying that ball all the way back there. Sit down. Get down. Oh, this is, this is gone. Just averted danger right there. So close. Why does he have all the luck? And this will be a five-foot putt here. Oh, I thought he had that. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. He needs this for par. Just dwindling the holes down. Pars are fine right now. Here we are at the par three, 13th hole. It's 210 yards. What does it take here, Frank? It's one actually um, where you'd rather be conservative than aggressive here. And the reason why is this green tends to roll off at the back and the front and the middle there. So uh, it's just something that pitches more in the central part of the green is really what's required. This is a good-looking shot. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Oh, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. Oh, 
tough break. Settles in over the putt. That's a solid par putt. Well, now we come to the really interesting 345-yard par 4 14th. Frank, I'm thinking that if you're leading, you're probably not going to try to drive this and take on the risk with the water on the left. But if you're behind, you have a chance to make up some ground. Yeah, I have it written in my yardage book, Rich, on this hole. Only good and bad things happen with a driver. Nothing in between. That's an absolute beauty. And here at 14, another chance to make a birdie with the right approach shot. Yeah, laying back there, a lengthy way in, the green will still kick to the left. So even though it's saying a wedge in hand, you've got to aim right at this flag. What are the chances of making it from there? We're now teed up at the 15th hole. It is the final par five here at Quail Hollow, 577 yards. And Frank, I remember this hole well. McElroy stiffed a five iron on his way to making Eagle his first PGA Tour win. That came back in 2010. And um, the opportunity exists again here. Under 600 yards, plays downhill off the tee. Those two bunkers on the right are perfectly situated. That second one about 310 yards to it. So something straight at that one with a little draw will set up that mid iron or long iron that has to be hit very high and uphill. Frank, this one's offline. There's rough and thick stuff over there. Pretty good result right there, considering it looked rough all the way. Exactly, really did. the green in regulation. This hole's been good to him. Birdie yesterday, trying for another one today. Continues to amaze yet another birdie, and what a day it's been. Now, this is the start of what some say is the toughest finishing stretch on the PG Tour. It's known as the Green Mile. Frank, what makes it so challenging? Well, this hole in particular, Rich, the dog leg right, um, it means it plays every inch of it's just over 500 yards. That bunker you can see down the right, 325 yards to carry that. Um, if you can fly the ball that far, at least you can chew off two-thirds of this hole, uh, and that is well required here. Otherwise, it's a long, long second shot. Well, this one's sweet, Frank. Super. Well, this looks good. It certainly is. Frank, you tip your Hogan visor to this player because early on it, it, it appeared as though this one was headed way off the tracks. Well, it was. Um, and to stop the round and turn it back, and now look like he's playing even better than ever. That took some doing. Frank, obviously way too much club there. <laughs> you, you gotta think something like that, or at least misread the wind. This is never gonna sit down. That will be a great look at birdie. Getting set now over the putt. Oh, 
Ah, you always like that. Count it as a burden. Frank, this is all you want in a par three, especially late in the round. You have to carry the water. You have to deal with the pressure. At 221 yards, this requires a player's very best. On the process of elimination, don't go long, don't go left, don't go short, and right is marginal. Uh, it doesn't leave you with much. Oh, solid strike right in the heart of the green. Well, that's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. He really likes this hole. Made birdie yesterday. Can he do it again today? Wow, that was so close, Frank. Just time to forget that one. I mean, he couldn't hit that much better. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Here we are, the 18th hole at Quail Hollow. Simply put, Frank, a player needs to hit maybe his best tee shot of the day. Uh, I would agree with you, Rich. If you were to measure this hole from trees on the left to trees on the right, it's actually a, a really wide fairway or expanse of land. But that creek that just meanders its way through the middle of this hole completely changes the nature of this hole. And consequently, you get the nail on the head. If you don't hit a good tee shot, you will rack up something here. And I've got no idea how big it would be. Frank, it's a nice walk to make down the fairway when you can see your golf ball right there in the middle. Rich, there's an old saying, fairway first. And there's another example. Hit it in the fairway, and the game becomes very straightforward. Just a beautiful tee shot. Lucky break right there, Frank. Well, that's what everyone else is going to say, except him. Great shot. Get the birdie. Frank, year in, year out, the Wells Fargo Championship is one of the best on the PGA Tour. This year, it didn't disappoint. No, it didn't. For, for a number of reasons, really. The quality of the field, Rich, but more importantly, from my point of view, the quality of the golf. Quail Hollow extracts the best out of a player. It demands it. And, uh, and we saw that today. For my partner, Frank Nabilo, and all of us here at EA Sports, I'm Rich Lerner saying so long. Until next time.